Hello everyone, my name is Ricardo from Merging and Neumann team. I'm representing uh, those, uh, the Sennheiser group as well for the MT48 that's here. So it's a new Neumann MT48 interface. It's, a, it's an interface to create a musical content typically or to be used if you need a, mis a mixer, digital mixer, it, because it has a quite an extended feature set. At the back you have two mic preamps which are very high quality, 136 dB of dynamic range, 78 dB of gain. And you have also at the front here another pair of preamps, which is line or instrument inputs here. And you have at the back two XLR outputs, balance. You have two TRS output that you can use for, let's say, another pair of speaker set or to use as a go to a external insert and come back in the front here. We'll see that after that. You have also GPI, GPO. So those protocols typically are for foot, sw foot switch would be GPI. GPO would be to trigger a recording light. So if with a, let's say, guitar foot switch, you can connect it here and you can control the mute or you can even cut the microphone with the pedal. So if I press the pedal, I could cut the microphone typically with the interface or I can control my AB things or I could change even the, the snapshot and the preset of the units. After that you have uh, either that or you have MIDI I.O. here at the back. You have the ADAT 8 I.O. of the ADAT or SPDIF here. You have also a Ravenna AES67 port at the back. That's PoE also so you can power the unit through PoE but you can also use that port to expand the outputs of the MT48 to the Neumann monitors typically that are AES67. You can also use that port to expand the I.O. of the unit with a merging interface typically that's AES67 as well. You have to understand that the built-in mixer of this unit is 48 channel mixer built-in. So you can bring I.O.s that are over the network to the interface, mix those I.O. in the interface and redistribute the output of those to a device that's 100 meters away over the network. So this is really, you have to understand, it's a very large mixer and that's very flexible in that terms. And after that, you have the USB. So that's what makes it so nice with this interface is that you're recording, creating content at home and you can connect the interface and directly starts to record your guitars, your vocals with the Neumann high quality microphone and keep that dynamic range and have this so, so much interesting and in, on the terms of quality on the front you have two independent headphones it's a very excellent high grade headphones so it's a audio file graded headphone set it's you can connect low impedance headphones and it really can drive very loud your headphones and have it super clear and transparent there so for mixed referencing you also have a built-in cross feed so the cross feed represents the position of your speakers through the headphone set because when you record, uh, they say you, you mix music on the headphones, you don't have the bleeding of the instruments like you have on speaker set. It's a built-in mixer here, so if you record and uh, you want a low latency mixer, typically you will use that to, to track your vocals or your guitars because you, you can connect the instrument directly and with that you have your monitoring and you, you can listen to the dot, the software playback. You can have your YouTubes there that comes in. You can also distribute the IOs as you wish. So the way it's made, it's a mixer. As explained, it can be expanded to 48 channel if you bring in more IO. But typically, you have to start with the 12s input, which is the four preamps plus the ADAT. So you have already those channels available here. So we go up and down the channel strip in the way it's done. Because on the screen here, you can see the full channel strip here, how it's laid out. So if I go to the top, I have the preamp section here. So you see one, two, so preamps one and two. And here I have three, four. And here the fifth one is the built-in mic here because you can use the talkback to talk to your musician and communicate with them when they, 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 they before preparing their mix or when they, after a performance or recording thing. So I swipe back. So the preamps are very high quality, as we explained before. It has some features that are very interesting also. Of course, it has 48 volts. It has a variable low cut, so you can have 40, 60, 80 low cut. It has the cut feature I was explaining, so you can cut the, the mic input and disconnect the mic or the mic here without having glitches, or you, you can even trigger that with the pedal. 
it also has the link. As you see, I'm linking a stereo pair here. So if I link the stereo pair here, I can control both channels at the same time. And I can even lock the calibration. So if I lock the calibration here, it means I can no longer, by accident, touch the screen or, 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 or have to redo the game. But it's, you can save these because if you go typically to external inserts and come back here, you might want to save a preset you did and come back the day later, recall that preset and continue with other overdubs or tapes with it. So that's what we have here. If I unlink, then you can also see that you have independent linking here. We lost the, oh, there you go. So here we are. So this is the preamps, and if I go down the channel strip, as you see, we have an EQ. So the EQ is a four band EQ parametric based on the Pyramix EQX, which is a renowned EQ for more than 24, 25 years that we have. So you can apply quickly EQs to any of your channels if you wish to. Down in the channel strip again, we have a dynamic section here. So the dynamics you have in series, gate, compression, or limiter. So you can apply either one of them. In, they are in series or all of them. And you also have a built-in side chain. So if you want to do docking or something like that, you can do it with the unit itself. So we go out here and we have also below that a parallel reverb. So you can inject, typically you have a vocalist, somebody singing, and you want on her headphones to have an ultra low latency cue, and you want it to have some treatment and you can immediately apply reverb to it. And you can also edit the reverb, go to the reverb section and adjust the reverb to different settings, the, re the, re the reverb plates or rooms or whatever you want. So that's the channel strip here. And at the bottom, you have a menu where you can decide to group, link, color, those things. So be, because there's also like VCA grouping in, in the interface. So if you have multiple, let's say you have a total drum kit on here, you can link, group all the channels of the drum and reduce or not the channel of the drum. Now I, I have a small group here, let's say. So here, this group, I can see, you can see I can change the grouping, the level of the entire group here. So that's what we have here. On the side here, we have things that we can recall the reference of your studio. So you can do a calibration, recall the calibration. We have a dim, we have a mono for face checking, we have a solo clear, and we have other features in the menu below where you can find, I have more fine precision touch. We have also 18 snapshots, so you can save all the snapshots. You have to understand that it can also be used fully standalone, so you can have you can do a performance with that also and save snapshot, but of course it's used mainly for to create music content and you can save your, your guitar setup or your, the, your, your, your microphone setup or your synth setup and all these snapshots can be stored here and can be even exchanged uh, with somebody else because you can download these the EQ snapshot, the dynamic snapshot on your system and send it over emails to friends if you want also. So this is pretty much the the unit we have. So if you record music at home, you want to have something that's really nice, you have hands-on, and the fact that you have the touchscreen, as I mentioned, it makes it 100% standalone, so you can even mix elements when you're not com your computer is not running, by example. So it's 100% standalone, as well on the expandability over the Ravenna port.